Welcome to your Straight Razor Edge Friday Special. Why you can't hone your curved straight razor. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving and welcome back, it's good to see you. In this Straight Razor Edge Friday Special, we are honing this double duck. It is a gold edge pearl duck. It has a full hollow and if you look here you can probably see there's a bit of an arc right there and we're going to hone this without damaging the spine or trying to correct it in any way now i will be doing a shave test with this in the sunday shave of the day so stay tuned for that but for now let's get started we're going to use captain tape to tape this spine and then go like that and gonna stretch it and we're going to try to keep it as straight as we can like that then I'm going to be squeezing from the middle to the outside and flatten that tape out just like that now there is one I'm going to put on two more. And we are done taping. We're using the 1000 side of the synthetic stone to set the bevel. And I have made the stone convex. So that is going to help us out. This stone has been soaking. Now I'm going to go ahead and keep it wet though. This is a mixture of water and glycerin. We are going to put that razor where the edge and the spine are touching the stone. The tape is going to take care of not wearing out the spine. So we're going to do some rolling X strokes. just like that but now I'm going to do several in a row on one side and this is got some pressure to it There's 20. That stone seems a little dry. All right, keeping that stone wet. All right, now we're going to do some cleanup strokes and they will be alternating.
All right. Let's see if we have the bevel set. The edge looks really good. Now I'm going to run the, the edge over my nail and we're looking for it to dig in the whole way. Weight of the blade only and it is. The bevel is now set on this razor. We're going to be using the 3000 side of this synthetic stone. Now it has been soaking and I have made it convex as well. And now I'm going to just keep it wet. We're going to still be doing rolling X strokes with the spine and the edge touching all the time. There's 20. Go ahead, keeping that wet. There's 20. Now we're doing 10. Keeping it wet. 10 more on this side. And now five. Well, I went eight. That's all right. As long as we do it even, it doesn't really matter how many trips on each side. There's four, four, three, three. All right. Now we're going to do cleanup strokes and check that edge. All right, actually, let me, I think I, I need to hit that one more time, just like that. Now, clean that off. And let's look at that edge. Oh yeah, starting to look really good. Yes, it is. All right. Now, need to do a little bit more work right here on the toe. So, we're going to do some spot honing on that toe real quick. Okay, now let's see what that looks like. And those were half strokes. 
Yeah, looking better. Looking better. We're using the 8,000 side of this synthetic stone and it has been soaking. We're just going to go ahead and keep it wet. Now we're going to do more rolling X strokes. And this is really with little to no pressure as well on this 8,000 stone. And now 10. And let's get it wet again. 10. Five. Oh, okay, there's ten. There you go. I am just having too much fun and I'm feeling the razor and I need to count more, be more accurate, right? Okay, there's five. 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 Four. Four, two, and two. Now let's do some cleanup strokes. All right, let's clean it up, see what it looks like. Very nice, very nice. That is, that's really looking good. It is. Now we're on to the 10,000 stone, and this is again a synthetic stone, and I have made it convex. Now we're gonna go ahead Get it wet and keep it wet. Very important. And we're doing rolling X strokes again. Little to no pressure. There we go. That was 30.
Okay, and now we're going to do 20. And 20. And 10. And 10. Now this, at this stage, we're polishing that blade as well. That edge is gonna be nice and polished and shiny. Okay, now let's get that wet again. And we're gonna do some cleanup strokes. All right, let's see how we're doing. Oh yeah, starting to look really good now. It is. All right, we're done with the 10,000 stone. Next, the Charnley Forest. This is gonna be our finishing stone for this razor. And it is a tool start sharpening stone so you see all these wonderful different bins and corners we are going to be using this side right here to hone this razor so i'm going to use this flat part and this side this time just because of the way this stone is made it will really work quite nicely now what we do is on this stone we need to go ahead and build up a bit of a slurry because this stone is going to like having a slurry and it's going to really do that razor quite nicely. So here, as, as I'm building a slurry, I'm also working on that corner, rounding it out. And now, we get a nice slurry on that stone. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some laps on this stone. And it is rolling X strokes. And I am using that corner and the flat part of this stone as well. And this is little to no pressure.
Now, we're going to go ahead and keep that wet. Now, this is a mixture of water and glycerin. So we are diluting that slurry as well. There we go. Now, alternating strokes. All right, now, that is doing some serious undercut and it's looking really nice. Let's go ahead and put a little more water on there. All right, now let's see what that blade looks like. See what the edge is. Oh yeah. Oh, we're getting a really nice edge now. Yeah, we are. Now let's go ahead and warm up that leather. There we go. We're gonna put 10 laps on this razor. All right, back to the Charnley Forest. Now, let's go ahead and build a bit more of a slurry on this stone this time. The other one is pretty light. And I just want a little bit more time with a nice slurry. All right. Now that's starting to look pretty good there. There we go. Now, now we got a really decent slurry. Let's go ahead and do some laps. There's 40. Thank you. 
and 40. And I am going to go ahead and put a little bit of water on that stone. Ten. 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 Five. Five. Now. There we go. Let's go ahead and a couple of drops of water. There we go. All right, couple more drops. That is really feeling smooth. It is. Yep. All right. Let's clean that blade off and look at it. See how it's doing. Oh, very nice. Very nice polish on that. That's looking really good. It is. All right. We're going to still do a few more laps, and this is going to mainly be straight up water and glycerin.
Okay. More water. That is feeling so smooth. It is. That is marvelous. All right. Let's stop and look at it. See how we're doing. Beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's stop there. Let's get that leather warm again. Now, you don't have to really crank this down. You can hold it where it can flex a bit. And when you're going with your razor, you come down on the spine and then rotate that blade down to the edge, rotate on the spine, down to the edge, rotate on the spine, down to the edge, always moving perpendicular to the blade, never moving across. If you move side to side or across, you will cut that straw. Now, as we're doing this in both directions like this, I want you to listen because it should have about the same sound going both directions. That way you know if you're putting too much pressure on one side or the other. All right, let's try this. So as you're listening, we're going both ways and with little to no pressure, you're just wanting that blade to sit on that straw. You don't want to try to push clear through it. And I'm rotating, not on the handle, I'm rotating with just these fingers like this. And I'm using these, hand, these fingers on my hands loosely. That way I can actually rotate just with those two fingers back and forth, just like that. You never want to rotate on that handle or you'll break it off. All right, 
We're gonna stop there. Let's see if this blade is shave ready by tree topping some hairs, which is cutting the hair about halfway up off of the arm. Yeah, toes good. Middle is good, popping hairs. And the heel is good. It is shave ready and it will cut. I do straight razor edge Friday specials on the first and third Friday of every month. You can click on this card to see me honing a Wade and Butcher smiling blade. Could be interesting. I get my ideas for these straight razor edge Friday specials from you. So down in the comments, go ahead, leave me questions, comments, suggestions, maybe even ideas for upcoming Street Razor Edge Friday specials, and we will get that going for you. Now, if you've been around for a while and you enjoy what you see, go ahead and consider subscribing. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead, just put them down in the comments. We'd love to answer them. I do Shave of the Day videos every Wednesday and Sunday, so stop on by for that. Plus, down in the description, I have got a ton of links there for straight razor shaving and honing videos and playlists especially for you. Click up here on my latest video. Click over here for videos specially picked out for you. Click up here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.